Hello and welcome to this video. We've just ended the month of June 2023 and so I'm here to present to you the DV 2023 end of June report. To do that, let's go over to Satish's website as we usually do and consider the latest DV 2023 statistics. Now, today we will focus on only one aspect of those statistics and it is the data concerning issuances. As you can see, so far in the DV 2023 program, a total of 39,012 visas have been issued out. This makes approximately 16,000 visas yet to be issued out to those who are still to be interviewed in the DV 2023 program. Now, there are a number of comments to make concerning the visas that are yet to be issued out. The first thing is that the trend in visa issuances continues, and so the bulk of those visas that are yet to be issued out will end up being issued to applicants who are assigned to embassies with good performance. We are at the beginning of a new month, and as usual, embassies have made their reports to the visa office concerning visa allocations for the month of September. Those embassies that have indicated that they will interview a limited number of cases during the month of September will have only few of those visas reserved for them, and those that have indicated that they are in the position to interview many cases during the month of September will see many of those visas allocated to them, which is good news for many applicants who are assigned to embassies with good performance. Another thing concerning the visas that are yet to be issued out is that soon some applicants who have been hoping to receive one of those visas will find out that unfortunately they will not receive one of those visas. As you are aware, by the end of this week or sometime next week, the visa bulletin showing the final cutoff numbers to apply in the DV 2023 program will be released. And when that visa bulletin is released, some applicants will realize that their case number is still not below the final cutoff number that will be shown for their region. And that cutoff number being the last for the DV 2023 program, it means that such applicants will be eliminated from receiving one of those visas by the final cutoff number established for their region. And that concerns mainly applicants with the highest case numbers from the Asia, the Europe, and the Oceania regions. Another thing to mention concerning the visas that are still available is that there is another group of applicants who will end up not being issued some of those visas. And that group of applicants are those whose interviews will be scheduled for late in the fiscal year. By the time such interviews are conducted, visas will be exhausted at a number of embassies or for the program in general. And so even after receiving their interview notification, there are some applicants who will not receive some of those visas that are still available at the end of the day. So yes, although there are still about 16,000 visas to be issued out in the DV 2023 program at the end of the month of June, there are many applicants who will be prevented from receiving one of those visas because their embassy is not performing well, because they are prevented by the upcoming cutoff number for their region, or because those visas will be exhausted before their interview is conducted. Those are things to be aware of concerning the visas that are still left in the DV 2023 program. Now to the next section of our report, which concerns embassy performance. In the last video, I presented the current situation of interview scheduling at your different embassies and consulates. I'm not going to go over all of that in this video. So in case you did not watch that video, then look in the description of this video. The link leading to that video is found there. Now, what I'm going to do instead is to identify the embassies with the best prospects and those with the worst prospects for the two final months of the DV 2023 program.
But before I do that, let me mention a couple of things. The first thing is that the embassies, and I'm going to cite are embassies that have been identified from the embassies that are usually present in these reports. There are more than 200 U.S. embassies and consulates, and in these reports, I usually present those that have viewers of this channel assigned to them. So, if your embassy is not one of the embassies that we usually cover in these reports, then it means that it will not be included in this report. Secondly, I'm not going to take into consideration all of the embassies that we usually cover. Only those with the best prospects and those with the least prospects for the two final months of the DV 2023 program. And finally, the parameter used to determine the embassies with the best prospects and those with the worst prospects is the number of interviews scheduled at the different embassies during the month of June. Those embassies where the most interviews were scheduled in the month of June can be considered as having the best prospects and those where the least interviews were scheduled can be considered as having the least prospects. So without further ado, from our list of embassies considered on this channel, the embassies with the least prospects for the two final months of the DV 2023 program include the embassy in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, the embassy in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, the embassy in Algiers, Algeria, the embassy in Djibouti, the embassy in Jerusalem, Israel, the embassy in Johannesburg, South Africa, the embassy in Kigali, Rwanda, the embassy in Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the embassy in La Paz, Bolivia, the embassy in Monrovia, Liberia, the embassy in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, and the embassy in Suva, Fiji. And those with the best prospects amongst the embassies considered on this channel, we have the embassy in Cairo, Egypt, the embassy in Casablanca, Morocco, the embassy in Freetown, Sierra Leone, the embassy in Kathmandu, Nepal, the embassy in Lome, Togo, the embassy in Nairobi, Kenya, the embassy in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and obviously the embassy in Yaoundé, Cameroon. And as was mentioned in the first part of this report, most of the visas that are still available will end up being issued to applicants who are assigned to the embassies that are performing well and who will not be prevented from receiving them by the final cutoff number for their region to be shown in the upcoming visa bulletin. So that is it. That was the DV 2023 end of June report. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. See you very soon, God willing, in the next video. Until then, goodbye.